But really, I kept the friendship going simply because of his mother's cooking. And uh, one of the reasons that we kept the friendship going so much was Sunday lunches with the Dimitina family, which meant hanging out with Dom, Franca, Angela, Diana and Peter, was really like having a second family. So when I became best man at his wedding and certainly cemented the friendship. Uh, we had a lot of laughs over the years. Can't quite believe we've made three score and ten, Frankie, but uh, enjoy the day um, as, as much as I've enjoyed our friendship. So just joking, I liked you because, not only because of your mother's cooking, but you've been a pretty good friend over a lot of years. All the best, mate. Well, Frank, turning 70 is a special occasion. It was a long time ago. Um, I remember when you were born. I was eight at the time, and I think Dad was pleased that you were called Frank. It was a happy coincidence because you were born on St Francis Xavier's feast day. We all made a big fuss of this baby, especially Dom, who after three sisters had a longed for brother. I remember Frank's hair was a mass of curls, a bit different now, eh? We all took great pleasure in attending athletic meetings to watch him run. Especially Dad, he was very proud. I won't touch on the point that Frank, as a young driver, smashed my Sunday mail pipe, and I said, I think Frank's greatest qualities have been as a father. I've always admired the way Angela and Frank and family did everything together. Happy birthday, Frank. Bon compagnano. Happy birthday, Dad. Sorry I can't be with you today, um, but I'll be back very soon in a few weeks to spend more time with you guys, which I can't wait for. Um, over the years, obviously, I've looked up to you. Um, we played football and worked in a restaurant. We, I followed the similar path to you, and that was obviously because you were an inspiration to me, and um, you know I, I wanted to be like you. Um, I look like you and sound like you, supposedly. Uh, which is not a bad thing, but I want to thank you very much for everything you've done for me and um, I love you very much and as I said, I'm sorry I can't be with you today, but I can't wait to, to see you in a few weeks and, and uh, have a great Christmas together with you guys. Happy birthday. I love Frank Dimitina. Frank Dimitina and I played together in the under-19s. Frank Dimitina, his first game of AFL football was best on the ground against Bobby Skilton, triple Brownlow medalist Bobby Skilton, and Frank was best on ground three votes in his first game. He was a superstar. One day, playing for Richmond at the MCG, he was as brave as they come. He ran back with a flight of the ball, and coming in the opposite direction was his teammate, the rampaging Paddy Ganae. Six foot four, weighing 155 kilos, completely smashed Frank to the ground, knocked him out cold. I love Frank Dimitina because that day there was a young rover sitting on the bench ready to come on and that was me. That's why I love Frank Dimitina. He kick-started my career. Also, Frank Dimitina is the world's greatest restaurateur. He's the only restaurateur when you book a table at Il Gumbro, you're halfway through your meal and then Frank would move you to Dimitina's restaurant. Then halfway through your meal there, he'd move you back to Il Gumbro. Then when you had coffee or sweets, back to Dimitina's. He rotated 200 people from two restaurants across Ligon Street and never lost one. Frank Dimitina, the greatest restaurateur in the world. Frank, I love you. Happy 70th. Some of my fondest memories of Frank occurred when I was about 10 years old. We would always be kicking the football to each other. At 337, this happened in Bell Street, uh, on the tennis court or on the front lawn. Be careful of the roses, mum and dad would yell. And it didn't stop at night. At Glenferry Road, we had a large rumpus room upstairs that with a few adjustments, we could kick the ball full pelt to each other diagonally across the room. The same room saw many memorable games of table tennis. We were both pretty good 
and sort of evenly matched. But funny thing, I could never win. Frank may not remember this. He took me to an under 12 game of football one day that I was playing for De La Salle. It was a wet sap day and we caught the tram down Glenferry Road to Kuyong. Frank was just coming to watch me, but Brother Cormac, one of Frank's uh, pets, came up to Frank and said, Frank, I don't like this. I think there's a few boys, older boys being rung in here. Do you think you can get your gear on and give us a hand? Well, Frank did, and we won the game. That was the only time I ever played in the school side with Frank. Over the years, like all brothers, we've had some differences and some arguments, but nothing too serious. Frank has had great success in business, and he's also had some trying times. But he and Angela have five wonderful children they can be very proud of. He has always been very generous and a cooperative in all aspects of life. Somebody I will always be proud to say is my older brother. Happy birthday, Frank. Wishing you many more to come. Happy 70th birthday and welcome to the three score year and 10 club. I'm just thinking about uh, all the past years. We've known each other over 30 years now. Um, started when I arrived at Mokapan and we became partners when I took over as managing director. So, there's been a lot of good times um, in our various businesses. Some were fantastic, some not so fantastic. Uh, we've had try the usual trials and tribulations in our personal and family lives. Mostly happy, sometimes not so happy. We both shared those with each other. Our sporting ventures, well, we can talk about those. Remember the competitive walks we used to have around Templestowe Park um, <laughs> and our great times at Tennis After Dark. They were, they were fantastic nights and, uh, and years. We did it for many, many years. Now, we are, now here we are, 30 odd years later, shuffling and, and, and wandering around the Preston uh, trotting track, thinking that we're moving with the gazelle-like movements that we used to exhibit on the tennis court, but really we're just making it round one foot in front of the other. Anyway, the main thing is we're, we're, we're still mates, we've been mates for longer than we care to remember, um, and I just hope that uh, we can continue that friend, great friendship that we've developed uh, for many years to come and go through many more of these significant anniversaries. Um, so I'll close off and uh, again wish you a happy birthday. You'll be surrounded by uh, people that love, respect and admire you and uh, all the best for the future. Thanks, Frank. Bye-bye.
I was lucky enough to be born on your 20th birthday. And I'd love a dollar for every time I've heard the story that we were born on the same day, share the same name, Francis Avery Dimitina, and more recently, the same hairdo. You are my godfather, father figure, business partner, mentor, and friend. You are sometimes thought of as an Italian godfather, but you really are a big softie at heart whose bark is worse than his bite. You've helped, trained, supported, and employed so many people over the years, and you have always been generous to a fault. We've shared so many great times in the restaurants, many ups and downs, but I always remember you saying, we don't always make that much money, but we always eat well. Happy 70th birthday, Frank. I've always felt like you've treated me like a son, and I'm proud and privileged to be able to share this special day with you and many more to come. Happy 70th, Dad. Uh, we've had many, many fond memories over the years. Uh, some being um, one that uh, two that come to mind in particular. One of them was when we we're in, on an Adelaide trip for the, um, one of the boys playing cricket, and you opened up the fridge and drank some green substance, and uh, you were quickly um, heard straight after. Ah, oh, shit! What the what the, what, what, what the bloody hell is this? Uh, and uh, it worked out, ended up being uh, laundry detergent. So I've got no idea who puts laundry detergent in the fridge, but uh, just a real unlucky one there that Dad uh, copped that one. So that was quite uh, quite hilarious, um, thinking it was cordial. Uh, the other uh, fond memory, or funny memory I should say, that comes to mind is uh, playing 10-pin bowling with uh, my friends and myself and Dad. And uh, Dad bowled, down the alley and uh, in typical fashion tries to sort of uh, will the ball over to the left a little bit does his um, whilst he kicks his leg uh, to the left to make the ball go left he turns the whole body as well as his head left and sure enough what was right here a big pole so he smacks his head uh, on the side here just starts pissing with blood I think uh, it goes down uh, in the world is the only person to have left a 10-pin bowling match, which is a non-contact sport, uh, bleeding uh, with a bandage um, around his head. So that was uh, quite funny that uh, myself and my friends always have a good chuckle about, even though Dad, I, I think he still had the last chuckle because he won. Um, you know, uh, you've always got um, you know so many uh, funny things and, and mannerisms, Dad. Uh, another one is, um, you know, some of your sayings. It's a tricky one. I don't know. It's a, it's a tricky one. That's always a, always a funny one. Um, another one being uh, sort of John McEnroe-esque, uh, like, what are you talking about? Uh, with the, the both arms up in the air, um, which is always a, always a good laugh. So you got a lot of passion, Dad. We love you. Um, thank you so much for everything you've done for me, putting a roof over my head. Um, sending me to a good school, uh, provide you know always an abundance of food on the table, um, whether it's at the restaurants or at home, and uh, I've definitely eaten like a king in my lifetime. Thank you so much for the amazing memories. Uh, thank you. I'm very grateful uh, and proud to call you my dad and uh, have a happy, happy 70th. Um, and thank you for providing such an amazing family uh, with yourself and mum uh, for, for myself. So have a great day. Love you lots, Nicholas. Today, I'm delighted to join fellow respondents in paying tribute to my little nipper, who was born into our then family home at 115 Buckingham Street, Richmond, 70 years ago. Frank, over the years, has enjoyed some varied working experiences. A short period at the family's market operations, then as a star salesman with cousin Anthony at Nokapan, and finally, in his various pizza restaurants, where his outgoing, warm personality attracted many customers and made the Dimitina venues favourites of Ligon Street. It seems fitting that Frank's life loves all start with his own initial. Family, friends, food and footy. He has certainly featured in a number of successful businesses, as well as some not too successful, but by far the very best decision he has ever made was 43 years ago when he asked Angela Petito to partner him in life. 
What better tribute can one offer Francis Xavier de Martina than to con congratulate him on the wonderful family he and Angela have developed together? Paul, Karen and family, Andrew, Frankie, Carla and Nicholas are each and every one a great credit to Frank and Angela. Frank, together with your family and friends, I pay tribute to you. Please bear with me. We've been friends with Frank for 50 years. Back then, we were welcomed into the Dimitina family by Frank, his mother, his brothers and sisters, as if we were Dimitinas ourselves. And nothing has changed in those 50 years. Like all their friends, we are still treated as family by Frank and Angela, and Paul, Andrew, Frankie, Carla and Nick. There is something unique about the warmth and genuineness of the friendship of Frank and this includes Angela and the kids as well. Be it inveigling us into slow racehorses or contributing to the market lions, Frank is someone you cannot say no to. And that's because you know he'll do whatever he can to help you and your family. Gumbro employed several of our kids of whom only one was any good, I think. But I never heard that from Frank. He only had good things to say about all of them. You can't put a value on friendship like this. We're very sad to be missing the celebration of your 70th, Frank. But we were asked to say why we love you. And we love you because of your generosity and your warm friendship and your wonderful giving nature. Right. Same thing. Love you lots, Frankie. Known you for 50 years or so, Frankie. Pretty scary, but we're still upright, darling heart. And we love you lots, and we always have lots of fun when we're with you. Gosh, when we think of all those times when we used to have <laughs> meals with your mum, your gorgeous mum, because she used to turn up late <laughs> for us to go out to a function. We just had wonderful memories with you and your mum and your family. So... Take care and have a wonderful night and maybe may you have many, many more birthdays that we can share with you too. Take care and love you lots. Bye, Frank. See you, Frank. Bye. Hi, Mom, Mom. Happy birthday. I have some special people that would like to say a little something about you. Happy birthday, Mom, Mom. Hope you have the best day. Hi, Frank. Happy birthday. Wishing you all the best for today. Happy birthday, Mom, Mom. Love you. I have a question for Kai. So... What do you love about Frank Dimitina? I love that he's kind and caring and loves family and I appreciate that he comes to all my footy games. Okay, lovely. So, moving on to Mark. What do you, what's your favourite thing about Frank Dimitina? Well, I love when you come over to our house and play cards with me when I win. Mm -hmm. And I'm also excited for next year when I start playing footy so I, you can teach me some skills. Oh! Wonderful. So moving on to Kai, okay? Mum. So, what is you, do you love about Frank Dimitina? There's plenty to love about Frank Dimitina. Frank, um, happy birthday. Wishing you all the best for today, as I said. Um, the thing I admire the most about you though, Frank, is your sense of family. You are extremely caring and kind and generous. Um, especially to your family and I know that they all love you very, very much as we do too. 
That's lovely. So, yeah. what about you, Tiani? What is it that you love about Nord Nord? I love that he's smart and that he comes and helps me with my homework. And yeah, and hope you have a good birthday. And all those love. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Oh, no. Love you yeah. lots. Bye. Happy 70th birthday to my little brother Frank. Wow, what a milestone. I have a number of fond memories of when we were young. Most relate to your dedication and prowess at sport, football and athletics. I enjoyed following your time at Richmond and North Melbourne and Brunswick. I had to change my loyalties three times and I realised I was following a player and not a team. I particularly remember watching a final we played with Richmond um, that you won. It wasn't the grand final, but it was still so exciting. When we came home, we watched the replay and relived the happy feelings all over again. I also really enjoyed watching you run at Olympic Park in the combined sports. So, happy birthday, friend. Looking forward to celebrating with you. Well, here we are tonight. That's the beautiful Boheme in the lovely suburb of Richmond. It's been a fantastic day. We've had the Dimitina lunch, had dinner with my lovely younger brother Nicholas, great man. And today's all about Frank Dimitina II. Dad, happy 70th. Son of Frank Senior. Son of Angelina Dimitina. Two absolutely great people. Dad, you've been an inspiration. I've always looked up to you. Thanks for all your good advice. Or as the uh, Greens, the Bartlett's and the uh, Richardson's call you, Frankie, Frankie Senior. Thanks for everything. Thanks for all the good memories. Uh, love, loving husband of the beautiful Angela Di Martina. Uh, you are well loved by all your siblings, Paul, Andrew, Frankie, myself, Frankie the third, that is, Frankie Junior. Carla and Nicholas, we all love you. Thanks for the good years, great memories. Gumbro and you are in our hearts forever. So uh, keep playing a straight ball, keep getting dot balls, get to the age of 90, then we want to, then we want you to kick a goal for the Tigers. Number 32, Frankie Demetina kicks a goal, gets to 96. Back on the cricket field, hits a four, gets to 100. Happy birthday. Happy 70th birthday, I uh, wanted to wish you all the very best and thanks for making me a part of it, I feel very honoured, um, what can I say, been a great support in the clinic and I hope I've been able to help you as much as I can, I'm always here whenever you need me and will continue to look after you as best as I can. Uh, what can I say, the best thing about you is you always come in with a new story or telling me always about your family and including me pretty much as part of it, pretty much why Carla and I more or less said we feel like we know each other despite the fact that we've never met. But yeah, thank you and wish you all the very best for your 70th. Enjoy, party hard and have a few drinks for me as well. Hi, I'm here to talk about my younger brother Frank. I watched him grow up to become a champion athlete and a great footballer. 
In 1988, I began a new relationship with Frank when I went to work with him and his brother-in-law, Lenny, at Hill Gumbel. The three of us worked together as a great team for 16 years until Lenny died suddenly in 2003. Frank and I have continued to work together through a fire at Old Hill Gumbel in August 2009 and then to the opening of the new Hill Gumbel in 2010. In this time, I got to know Frank as a businessman as well as a brother. He's very much a people's person. In fact, so many people coming into the restaurant used to tell me that they went to school with him. I don't know how big the school was, but there were an awful lot of people who knew him. He has a great personality and has gathered a big group of quality people around him to forge so many long-standing friendships. He's loving, loyal, generous, resilient, dogged, tenacious, and encouraging. However, he some, we sometimes get to see his fiery Italian temper in full flight, and that is a sight to behold. He's a very loving family man who has had some big crosses to carry, and I can only say how I admire and love him so much for the way he has coped with all of this. I'm very pleased and happy to be able to present this tribute to him on his very special day, his 70th birthday. Long may he continue to be with us in good health and happiness. Your sister, Angela. To the irrepressible Franks, Francis Saviour de Martina, 70 years old. It is very hard to believe, Frankie. Who could forget ever going to El Gumbro in the early days? And you'd be sitting at a table with Kate and the three kids. All of a sudden, he'd have an arm under the elbow saying, we need your table. Do you mind moving? If we mind, it didn't matter because we're being moved well before we had a chance to respond. Who would ever forget wanting to say no to an invite to the next charity function? How could you say no to Frank Dimitina? Just not a very po not a possibility. And what about the seafood specials, Frankie? They were magnificent. The platters you were giving to me were just magnificent. Then the 50 pizzas every Thursday night at the Richmond Football Club. What a great diet 50 pizzas were, but you gave them with great love. And Frankie, how many times have I rung you? And you, three weeks after you, I last spoke to you, I ring you and you say, ah, oh, Paul Callery, I was meaning to ring you today. It's a ripper of a line, Frankie, but I'm not quite sure if ever you were gonna ring me. What about that epic last game of tennis? Maybe 10 years ago now, Frank, we played to the death. One set all, six games in each of those, or 12 games in each of those sets, and it was just terrible. I thought you were gonna have a cardiac arrest. I, you thought I was gonna have a cardiac arrest. We played the third set, six games all. We looked at one another, both terribly distressed, and we thought, my God, Let's call it a day. We shook hands and said we'll never play singles again. However, I do believe I would have beaten you. But that's debatable. We are still one set all and six games all. Never singles again. This is a family birthday, a great birthday, and Kate and I as a family love being part of your family. I'm looking at my notes now, Frankie, and I haven't got the glasses on, so I'm nearly stuffed. But anyway, uh, Angela, it's amazing you will be now sleeping with a septenarian. I bet as a 90 year old bride, you never thought that would ever happen. But of course, Frank hasn't changed, has he? He's the same demure, lovely, athletic looking young fellow with lots of hair of yesteryear. I do remember that great athlete uh, being a Sabiz boy, Frankie being a De La Salle boy. Sabiz always beat De La Salle, but Frankie De Martina, the he, he was the Adonis of athletes and we loved seeing him. To the kids, Dad is devoted to you. He loves you with a passion and he would do anything for you. And it's healthy that you would think. He's a little bit different and indeed he's there. He is. And as friends, Frankie, we love you. We love your loyalty. We love your tenacity. You never give up a tune and don't slow down. I'm doubtful about some of your friends, one being Michael Green in particular. He actually has a problem. He's called a sleeping problem. Don't get too close to him because you'll slow down dramatically. No more singles tennis. Frankie, we are equal. And also the last thing, at the Richmond Football Club, and if you and I had our way, if it wasn't for Michael Green, Kevin Bartlett, and Ken Stonehouse, we would have had the boys eating pizzas every night of the week, 
we would have been going to the pub, we would have been had a few bets at the TAB, and we would have had a few won a few games. Maybe not many more, but we would have had a lot of fun. Frankie, we cherish being part of your family, the whole family, and it's a privilege and an honour to speak on your behalf. Happy birthday, Frankie. What a great thing, mate. And happy birthday. Congratulations, Frank, on your 70th birthday milestone. In our senior years, it is the new 60s, or as young as you feel. Keep fit, eat healthily, have less stress if possible, and enjoy the simple pleasures of life, whichever order they may come in. My love and best wishes for you on your special day. Hi Frank, happy birthday, Tony Pantano here. Uh, very sorry I couldn't join you tonight, but uh, I'm sure you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful celebration of 70 very uh, successful years. I think the number of people with you and your family are a true testament to the man you are. I'm sorry I can't be there, but uh, you know, I wanted to send my well wishes and, uh, and uh, thanks for everything that you've done in my life. You've certainly been a big contributor, a mentor, uh, somebody that I consider family and a very good friend. Um, when I think of you, I really smile and I'm very appreciative and I probably can't get that across over here, but you're a very important person to me, Frank, so thank you very much. Uh, I just want to, the point about you was, you know, what's the one thing that I can uh, remember most about you? And that's your, that's your presence in a hospitality friendly, Frank. You know, you make every single person feel welcome, every single pe person feel uh, comfortable as if they're at your home. and as something that not many people have in this world and uh, I think it's truly amazing. Thanks for being an inspiration to me, thanks for being an inspiration to many people and uh, I wish you all the best and happy birthday. Ciao mate, bye. Some of my favourite things about you dad are your sense of humour, silly sense of humour and even when it's not funny, the way you laugh at your own joke makes it funny. Um, I like the way you botch the English vocabulary with your pronunciation of words like film and balloon. I love how you've made sounds um, instead of words, like I think that translates to uh, it's a tricky one or I don't know. Um, I love that you're a restaurateur who only knows how to cook Chinese food, um, that a meal is not a meal unless the, the food's covered in sauce and there's lots of sweets to follow. Um, your ambidextrous tennis arms, uh, which made none of my cross-court backhands ever a winner. Um, some of my favourite memories of you, Dad, are coming home from work late when you'd come to give me a kiss and smelling like a pizza oven. And if I did wake up, then you'd put me back to sleep with Sandman, sandbags on my eyes. Um, and I remember two pretty critical times of education for me where you stopped me quitting. One was in prep when I kept coming home from school crying and not staying a day until one day mum and I came home and we were standing at the top of the stairs at North Bowen and, and you got so angry at me, told me I'd never learn a thing in life if I couldn't stay a day at school. And uh, so anyhow, learn I did by staying. That also happened in my second year of university, uh, studying physio when I, I just hated it. I failed a subject and I wasn't enjoying it. And you sat me down to talk about life wasn't easy and that I had to get through the hard stuff to really enjoy things. And you said I could make of it what I want. And, um, and I listened to you and I did. So thank you for pushing me over that hurdle. 
that's one of the things I love most about you, Dad, is that I can talk to you about anything and you will always come back to me with words of wisdom. Whether it be over a text message or on the phone, you listen and your ability to give me advice is um, second to none. You're so supportive. Every decision I've made, you support and you really encourage me along. So thank you for that. Your honest opinion and your unconditional love really uh, get me through every day. Uh, Dad, you have such a passion for life that it's infectious. That really um, stands out in our family. Your commitment to us as a family. Um, you and mum brought us up and really taught us how to love. And that's not easy to do, but you've instilled a great nature of loving all of us. Your perseverance, Dad, and your vision in business um, makes you a great businessman. You've made a lot of money and you've lost a lot of money, but I don't know any successful businessman that hasn't done that. Your loyalty is probably one of my favorite things about you. Your loyalty to us as a family and to your friends. Um, I really see it that they all can't say no to you because you give back to them equally. Dad, thank you for being the greatest father I could ever, ever ask for. Um, I wish you the best birthday. I look forward to spending many more years with you. I love your trips over here to New York where I really get to see a fun side of you. Um, happy birthday, Dad. I, I love you infinitely. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Uncle Frank. Happy birthday to you. Hear it, hooray! Hear it, hooray! Hear it, hooray! Happy 70th birthday, Dad. Um, why do we love you so much? Your warm, generous nature, your caring, caring personality. Um, you've just been a great father. We love you and everything you do for us. Yeah.